relationships, but you're wrong. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. Fan School 202. Have Dante <laughs> with us, a requested guest over and over. But I'm not gonna lie, really? a few years actually. Really? At this point. Seriously, and I have I- a uh, an acronym that I use whenever I talk to dudes on, on my pop, Man School 202. Let me plug that again. Um, <laughs> is ACE. The acronym is ACE. It's authenticity, credibility, and empathy. Mm, right? Okay. So authenticity is just truth. Okay. Honesty and truth. Which niggas don't have. Okay. Credibility is <laughs> is uh is I say what I mean, I mean what I say, and I do what I say. Which niggas really don't do. Okay. okay. And empathy That's is true. for me to perceive the, the 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 tribulations that you have to go through on a day to day when I'm asking for things. I love that you were teaching and me I these three things. What, we don't need do to figure out where the motherfuckers can go. I think he was like a lot of men want to have multiple girlfriends and all these different women, but it does take time and, and energy becoming, and energy and emotion to learn. Yeah. Women and how the, um, we talk about love languages a lot as well, but to learn how everyone receives the things you do, right. how you give it back, and for them to also learn it's you. It's exhausting. It is. It's I can exhausting. only imagine. I'm, listen, it's exhausting, and and that means you you also, if they want sex with you, you got to show up. You got to show up when you don't want to show up. Oof. Like so, you you know, it's great when you you know everybody's like, oh, I want. I've I've done do. Dude, I've had dudes where I've counseled dudes through my podcast and they would yo I want this and I want that and then they you know I would get them to the point where they might have five on the roster and they were like yo I'm tired I gotta I gotta go to you know what I'm saying and I'm like you 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 broke it you bought it how hard it is for me to give up any sort of power to anyone else and it is but so as in order to gain that trust right I have to recognize immediately that you I have to be present enough to recognize that you're insecure. And then I got to as you start to I should be able to see you rev up and I should be able to go, look, listen, that's what he do. That's what he do. You're good. He do You're good. Just, that's it. And, and that's what he do. Even when his gaslight is on, I'll be like, "Nigga, I ain't gonna push this truck." And he's like, "You don't think I know how long I can drive in my own car but even with the that, gaslight on?" Even, even that, that is not. Even that's too much. Yeah, the, I know. The, well, that's the, what the, I do in the car. It's always even the car shit. It's really the, the car explanation shit. of it is too much. You have. He has to go. Listen, he do. I he do. got this. He do. Not even to, not do. even going through the the, the my, I know that I, even that is too much because any discussion gives you room to, to wiggle on my way. And yeah. I got you. Gotta you gotta. So the so when you ask about a sex tip, it's it's being present. You have to be present. Mm. So being present, being in the moment, and and in order to be present, you have to be the best version of yourself so that when you when you're making moves, you're ready. Like right you, you've trained. If it's a boxing match, you have to have been trained and did your road work and did your pad work and ate right. So you're ready. So when you step into the situation, you're not insecure. I know. I gotta- You'll find a woman who's toxic. She will find another toxic dude. Mm-hmm. And she will repeat that toxicity in everything that she does. And then, and then she'll be like, man, ain't this a minute. And then you'll find that she'll break up with that dude and she'll get another toxic dude. So, right. so the, 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 I have this, this, uh, Philosophy. I talk about. I don't know if you you know what brackish fish are. I mean, no. So there's a fish called African cichlids. They okay. Okay, in, they come from a, a a lake in Tanzania, and in no they come from this lake, and they're uh you know there's, there's tribes around it, so they shit in it, they piss in it, they wash in it, they cook out of it. It's and so there's a bacteria in the water, and so those fish become adapted to that. Now, if you set up a fish tank and you have African cichlids, you have to set that water up. First, you have to put a bacteria culture in the water. You have to balance the pH because if you put those fish in clean water, they will die. So what's the normalization of of bacteria or toxicity is what feels home, like home feels comfortable. So if you have somebody who comes from an abusive situation, it's almost it's almost more painful for them for you to treat them well, how you would assume people want because to be treated. Because it doesn't. This is so fucked up. No, it makes a lot and of sense. And this is like when we talk about, it does. But it's like when we meet people that get out of jail and they like doing certain things because it makes them feel like they're still there. Or even, you know, I had a conversation with this chick who went to jail and she was talking about how 
it was more stable for her than her it's, household. Yeah, it's and yeah, she was like yeah. the regimen. She was like, don't get me wrong, I didn't like being there. She was like, but the regimen was like something that was necessary. It's more comfortable. I she mean, was that's in why there people for five years. To, people and, go into armed services a lot of times because they don't like they don't want the choices. And so what I think what happens is we we have this kind of norm of what we perceive things should be, and and that norm has may not have no, anything to do with what you particularly but, want. But you it, know, me as a man, if I'm dating you, I'm dating you. What I want from you is totally different, different than what you want from me. So it's, it's it's specific even in the context of that. And so the agency, when I say the agency, I mean that the, what people perceive is this is the normal is that has nothing to do with what the real feeling is. And so one of the things that, I feel like when you're talking, we got to go like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, the agency. Brother. Yes. Well, you, like, right. you know, this is well thought out. So you're going to be you're going to be snapping a lot. So, okay. they, they, so <laughs> this is well thought out. <laughs> Men think that we are these complicated creatures. And it's literally those three things that really women want the most simplest, sure. fundamental sure. aspects of you to literally be just a good human with us. And all of those are blanket under honesty. They are. Well, that we yeah, I mean, don't well, let me say this. Have that it. all depends unless she's a toxic individual, then what she wants from you is that toxicity. So real quick, because you keep saying as well that both parties can be toxic. And I think that this leads into as well just the conversation. I don't think a lot of women own up to their toxic behavior. Sure not. So, not. Well, you've never heard the terminology a woman of her word. Mm, man of man of his word. You've heard man of his word, but you never hear because you're not held to those standards. You're you're allowed. Oh, oh I don't. Wait, okay, no, wait. let me say this. Are, okay. you, the expectation for you to be to have a level of emotionality about so what your your reality is perspectively is is shaped by how you feel in that moment. Okay. And be, and and your feelings move. They're they're they're, ten, they're you know they're, they're they they move and it's fl it's a flow. It, okay. It doesn't it's just not like that. And you find this and you're making faces. But here <laughs> here's what I'll, I'll prove it to you because what happens is women have different friends. You got that friends you shop with, friends you party with, friends you creep with, friends you and and so women tend to be very malleable and they have different. I feel friends. like this dude that I used to fuck with must listen to Dante. Because he said all he this said shit. This one thing to me that I always remember, and seriously, mm -hmm. because out of anyone I've ever dated, he was the most like he'll always tell me, "I'll never lie to you, never call me the nigga like me." Who will be this honest and transparent? And he really was. Mm -hmm. And one of the things he said to me when we were breaking up, it was so difficult for me because like I just couldn't understand how it was happening. And he said, "You have so many friends you do things with." And I'm just like a toy that like the second someone's going to throw it out, you just can't stop playing with it. You have to know it's there. And he's like, you just want me there. And I know that because of the different friends you have. And it's true. <clears throat> I talk about it on the show all the time. I have friends that if I want to get super high and get lit and go raving or do my Black Lives Matter protest or whatever. Now I have friends that can do all of those things, but Dudes for the most part. Yeah. Dudes, they my, stick with my, it. And they now, don't. Even, even my shady dudes, I know he's, we all know he's shady. We just don't let them. We don't let them know money. But you know what y'all do have? We, bitches like that. Y'all have uh -huh. a bunch of different bitches that do different shit. You got one that's the one who's like the homeboy that you could do this, but you got one that fucks you nasty. You got the wifey type. I don't believe but that. that y'all will find a place. But that become that's because of the fact that guys don't feel as though they're dope enough to say you may not be the one. You may not be the thing that you think you are. Mm. So if I'm if I and I don't have a problem. So so it's like when you talk about authenticity, that authenticity could be hurtful mm -hmm. if it's something that you don't want to hear. Do you know, you know you feel what I'm saying? So you, no, have, you may have this perception of who you are and what you are and and I may not think so, but a guy A guy would, knows that we probably would not be able to handle you your perception of us. Exactly. <laughs> you know what? I'm right, done yeah, with let's you already, go. so um, <laughs> you right, I'll, 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 you, like, you, you see I ain't snapped in a minute, because I don't like what you're saying. I don't like what you're saying. I don't like what you're saying. You know you supposed to snap if it's true. I, not I if heard like it. That's my relationship crazy. Anxiety. You, you, gotta, yeah. you also have to look at, so when you're a child, and your mom is around, that is the true depiction of what you see womanhood as. I mean, if you think about how many people you know that are just garbage, 
they're garbage because, because people, of their upbringing. people, you know, you have children and you, you, yeah. you, you're not raising them how you want them to be as adults. You're raising them just as it happens. My know, mom is, tells me all the time that she's like, I couldn't have had another one. She's like, I felt like there was a lot of energy and a lot of things I wanted to teach you. And she was like, and I couldn't balance myself. Like, I think one was it. Like, she always says that. She's like, I don't think another one could have came out. And I, I think also it's a situation where you, you know, it's, it's sort of like buying a new laptop and then you back up the laptop from your old your your old um Computer? your old backup you okay. know what I mean like you 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 forgot all the shit no I'm saying like you have viruses and malware right and then you you just download all your shit into this Back brand new laptop new and then you Dante, wonder why do you like love analogies so he much it. it's he loves easy it. to he it's loves easy analogies. to understand it, no. it's, you already kind of just gave it to us but our hors d'oeuvre segment is the sex tips and we love to leave it to the guests do you have any one blanket tip that maybe works for everybody is it men for women women for men I think um, um, so one of the things is I say you can't whenever a relationship doesn't work it's and I get in trouble for this a lot of times because it's, it's always the man's fault and I'll, t- I'll tell you why because it's um, if you have a woman that's too strong you can't tell a woman you know, I mean and all of y'all have done this oh girl he's nice give him a chance what you're really saying is he's not strong enough to handle you so be weaker so that you can give him an, an opportunity and you can't do that 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 alleviates the, the attraction the attraction is the fact that he is stronger like a woman only finds a man attractive who she thinks is better than her and better is a is a relative term i'll agree with that it's a, he's too nice or give him a chance right but what if it's because someone is being good to us and we're not used to that it's still it, his inability to recognize that he's being too nice is is his deficiency. Okay, I get so what it, it, even the fact that he's he's deficient in his ability to perceive what's going on, and so you like I say, if, if you want to be a man, there's no vacation days in manhood. You got to show up every day. This is a toxic episode. Mm. You you this don't. Is, this is interesting because I, I agree I, and don't agree. So I, but I also just kind of had this conversation Mm. last night as well like to the fact that when you date someone um you need to allow them to show you who they are yeah Um, yeah. so if a guy say for instance if a guy is missionary style right Mm -hmm. and he's present if you if a woman is pushing her hamstrings against your your quads your thighs okay you're too deep you are too deep. You're oh, too hard. But but if you're if it's deep, your your hips will relax and your legs will fall oh, okay, back. Okay, okay, like you enjoy it. So you 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 have to pay attention to to what those those those, those physical cues. So if you, if she's pushing against you, you you can't go. Yeah, I got it. And 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 you have to you you got to meet right That's at the, the interesting moment. thing about men. And as I when I was younger I feel like dudes would always want that compliment for making girls scream and things like that and it's like my most enjoyable sex wasn't me fucking screaming bro and it might have been if if that's where you're at but the the point is the point of like trying so hard to like get this reaction when you're really not putting thought but then 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 the reaction is what you want it's not what she wants so you gotta pay it It, it, like even if you you know guys would be like what's the what's the best way to go down on a girl and I go you can't it's not There's we're no, all not the same exactly so, so to know your partner is what you really need to do so not ask I, the next nigga how do you go down I would say you know there's women that want direct content there's contact women that can't take direct contact small circles on the hood uh, underneath the hood you got the names you, this, not the hood like, he got I mean, all these little we didn't for, ask for the mechanic well, shit well I mean I, this is the podcast <laughs> <Or scroll vortex. laughs> okay. so what I'm saying is is so what I would tell a dude is is if you watch a woman's diaphragm, you watch her diaphragm drop and increase as she's breathing. The deeper the breathing is, the more you're you on point. Because as as her as her breathing deepens, it's because she's she's going, she's more relaxed and she's falling into mm. it deeper and the, and it becomes more sensual. So if you're watching her stomach, her abdomen rise and that's fall. That's a good, that's a really good sex tip. And if you, I've and done if, that with oral sex and women. You, the hate things you want you the last you don't want her skin, and you, it, right they, and you think oh I got because it's ego right so but you in order to remove the ego you gotta first be dope 
Say that shit. So if you're not dope, then you're trying to, you're, you're, you're trying showing to off. Yep. You're, you're, it's a, it, that's man's insecurity. Yeah. So if I'm present and this is about, this comes from an authentic place of me trying to please you, then I'm paying attention. I think we could do, that's a tip for both, to be honest with you. Absolutely. The diaphragm shit, like I've learned that, like I said, from women, because it was a little bit easier to notice. But like after that, I've. Not consciously all the time, yes. but I listen to breath like a lot. And when I'm pleasing somebody or like the sounds and like. Yeah, I don't even like music because I need to, I need to, I need to zone in. I can do I a wanna, little Brent Fires, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I add one thing I think is really important. Go ahead. Relationships are very easy and okay. people overcomplicate. All you need to do is understand what your non-negotiables are and then never negotiate them. Mm, so that's great advice. So, mm. but but you have to be honest with about what you're negotiating and non-negotiable. So if you got a guy and you're saying that fidelity is non-negotiable, that means if he steps out, you leave. You gotta go. You now I have you Dante, stay, I, My therapist has told me that I have five, and three of them have to be there. Mm. I feel like some are kind of wavering for me. Yeah, yeah. Like one of them was making more money than me. Um, and I, I was in that non-negotiable but like the more that I grew and the more I got older I was like yeah, I might not have that yeah you know what I'm saying it used so, to be my I don't even think about that no more I, I don't make six figures so we good isn't that crazy how good. I normally for the most part whenever we do an episode I know when people will like someone and I know people will like you especially the men but I want to know what women are going to think are they going to be angry are they going to be happy are they going to feel neutral well here's the thing if, That's if, what if I'm they're sure. frauds I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man.